Hi, everybody. Welcome to Montreal, Quebec. Hallowed ground in the hockey world. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Cebulski. The Leafs roll in as one of the hottest teams in hockey tonight, Ray. They haven't missed for a while. I've liked everything about them on this winning streak. They took the game to their opponents. Their special teams have been good. Their goaltending's been good. When you're riding high, keep it rolling. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. The Canadians start with possession as we are now underway. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's the pass. Scores! John Tavares makes it count. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. Can any momentum in this building out here quickly? There'd be a lot of people surprised when they finish buying their popcorn, come to the seats and see that they're trailing 1-0. Quick pass to Barner. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. By number 88, William Nylander. Time of the goal, 42 seconds. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Play resumes as the puck is dropped. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. Tries to get the puck to Tatar. A little rock'em, sock'em on the play. Looks to get the puck over to Tavares. From the point, looks to make something happen. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Marner's got it into offensive territory. Puck scooped up by Marner. And now it's grabbed by Nylander. Quick Whoa. shot, scores! Mitch Marner! He doesn't need too many chances to score. That's one of the reasons he leads his team in goals. He's got a great finish when he gets the opportunity. Has dropped and we are back underway. His 40th of the season. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Gives them nothing in front. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. 44. Morgan Riley. Time of the goal. Three minutes, 32 seconds. Toronto's had the shot advantages and they also have the lead. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Too much traffic in the lane. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. And he's off to the box for two for tripping. Not much of an argument there. A stick between the player's feet. Montreal's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Their first power play of the night. They've worked on it, and it starts with the faceoff. Win the draw, start moving the puck quickly before you shoot it. Puck grabbed by Lekanen. Tosses it on. Well, he's calling him out now. Shore's done everything here except pull the other guy's gloves off. He's slowly working his way to the bench. Somebody's got to get the door open for him. He's going to need some help. And that one's broken up. Directs it on over to Byron. Sends it over. Drives it to the front of the net. Toronto's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And he slides it quickly to Petrie. And that carries off a stick. The Canadians fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Well, no go on that power play. They were able to move the puck around. And I guess at times it looked dangerous. But just nothing really going on the power play. They let that one slip through their fingers. Lekkonen still trying to shake off the effects of this hit. He really took a thump there. Lekkonen's not going to be able to stay in the game here. He's gone over the bench and into the tunnel where he's limping his way back to the locker room. Let's see if we can try to get an update as soon as possible from the medical staff. Quick feed to Kulak. 
Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. And now he moves it to Tatar. Lays into the body on the play. Passes right to the front. Quick snap. Poked away from danger. Oh, and another big stop. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Rips it, and he comes up with a big-time save on that. Directed over to Domi. Feeds the puck up to Nylander. Oh, getting a little cheeky there. And this is why this is one of the best rivalries in hockey. Yeah, every time they play, somebody's got a burr in their saddle. Well, we can see this one coming all along. Right down Main Street. These teams don't like each other. This is predictable. It looked even until it wasn't. And the road team gets a clear decision here. Still lots of time left in the period. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Montreal's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Taken by Deneau. Montreal's on the attack. Here's a shot from the wall. Turns him away. Sends it ahead to Janssen. With some momentum driving towards the net with the stop. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. Oh, my goodness. That sounded hard. It looked hard. That was a very, very heavy hit. Nasty. Shot on net. No, oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Tries to get it over to Matthews. Here they are on the attack. And now it's over to Harper. Takes the feed from his netminder. Slides the puck across to Armia. Oh, break away. Huge stop by the puck stopper. Oh, yeah, it is, Chief. It's like he has an open book there. The goalie read every move that the player tried to make. And he totally whiffs on it. There are rock stars, and then there's next level to that. And our guest coming up in period number two defines it. Snoop Dogg coming up here on EA Sports. Just here in the late stages of this frame, 2-0 is where we sit. Puck has dropped, and we are back underway. Here's a short pass to Byron. He got all of that one. And now he tries to get it across to Aberg. Right to the middle! Hammers the shot! Puck goes out of play, and we'll have a face-off. Puck and Emmys want a big draw on their own end. With authority! Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Passes the puck over to Gallagher. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. Here's the chance, and makes the save. Marner's shot doesn't miss the mark very often. Very accurate, quick release. He's among the league leaders in goals this year. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Right up front, scores! John Tavares makes a count. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. won the draw here in the open ice. Wax it into the offensive zone. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. Kulak's taking it from his own end. Oh, he'll feel that one. Here he is, all alone! What hustle! Yeah, he doesn't even get a shot away just when he's gonna shoot it, the defender. Closes tight and foils the play. Great back check. And he says no! 
I have been looking forward to this one for a while, but coming up, period number two, the one, the only, Snoop Dogg in the house. The good old days of hockey are back. This is your beat are now available at kiosks throughout the arena and at our main store. Take yours up before their history again. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Second period action here tonight. James and Ray with you, and business is picking up here. The D O double G is in the house here in the broadcast booth. The one, the only, Snoop Dogg. I gotta tell you, man, I am so amped up. Thanks for doing this. Man, thank you for having me. For shizzled. Oh yeah. Hey, nice shot. Scores. Nice shot, baby. You like that? I love that when they just tip it in like that. Good shot. Great effort. This makes the coaches look smart every time. They depend on him for offense, and he delivers James time and time again. And we're gonna see a swapping of the goaltenders. I would say there's some relief here. He's been ventilated tonight. Now he gets to go take a break. with us here on EA Sports. You've got, what, tons of jerseys, probably like over a thousand, I would guess? Oh, yeah, at least. Does every single one tell a story for you? They all have a sentimental value to them, whether the uh, city gave them to me or... Hey, Welcome to the six! That's a goal! Welcome to the six! Leafs Nation is alive! You're kind of an honorary member of Leafs Nation, aren't you? Yeah, Toronto know what it is. It's love, baby. Let's go, Toronto! He makes a great play on the net. He's been doing it all season long. That's why he leads his team in goals. Toronto's offense has come to play in a big way as they dominated both the shots and goal category. Puck is dropped, play resumes. Here's an odd man rush. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Always a focal point of the opposition is trying to shut him down. One of the league leaders in points. He's really tough to get a handle on. The Leafs continue to lead big here in this second period. Tuck picked up by Riley. Denied by the blocker. Shot saved made by the goalie. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. And the goaltender jumps on top of that one to try to slow things down. They needed a stoppage. They started to get a little scrambly around their zone, and they're looking for some help. Now they can reorganize. Toronto's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. And they can convert to the play. Oh, what a hit. Rocked them in the open ice. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Slides the puck over. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Damn you, track. Stop right there. I need you to plant your feet and just stop. Snoop, that was violent. Bang. Wow. Bang. Aggressive. You're getting excited seeing these hits, aren't you? these hits, man. Make me wish I knew how to slide on ice because I'd get out there and do somebody <laughs> like that. I would pay to see that. Hammers it on net. Shuts him down. Denies him again. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. And there's the whistle. Icing is the call, which I got to say is like almost the equivalent of a tie. Who likes icing? It might be the most boring play in hockey, but... You get an offensive zone face-off. Hey, there's a victory. Toronto's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Makes a save, cool and calm under pressure. So tell me this, when did you start getting into hockey? Man, I used to listen to a man named Chick Hearns. He used to do the uh, games back in the 80s, He man. was a basketball guy too, right? Yeah, man, but he did the hockey too and he was dope. And I used to watch the game and see all the players and fell in love with him. Man, hockey's a fun sport to watch. Was he was he as entertaining from a hockey standpoint more, as well? More entertaining. Very, very, really? very entertaining. Here's a chance right in the slot. Oh, what a beautiful glove save. He's not going to face many more high-danger chances than that, but he snares that attempt. 
If you were commissioner for a day, what would you do? I would make all hockey games start off with some hip-hop music. I would have a great halftime performance. And the games would be more interactive as far as finding ways to put the people involved, not put them on the ice, but just make it more. Oh, no! Backside on the oo-wop to the boo-bop. Good shot, y'all. Can you give me that one more time? Backside on the oo-wop to the boo-bop. Exactly. Couldn't say it any better myself. What a goal. Yes, sir. These are shots I think the goalie should stop, James. It's on the low part of the glove side. He just doesn't catch it. Hang it tonight here with Snoop Dogg. So I'll ask you this. If you were commissioner for a day, what would you do? First thing I'd do is put some hip-hop music in all venues. We start the game with the national anthem and the Canadian anthem, and then we go straight off to some hip-hop and get this thing popping so quick, so fast. Sounds like a party. Yes, sir. That's what it has to be. Uh, I know you're a busy man, but thanks for doing this. Do you want to hang out and watch the rest of the period with us? If you don't mind, I don't mind. I would love it. Well, let's do it, dear. Let's I'm fanboying out let's here. Let's kick it. Let's go, Jay. All right. Oh, no worries. Split the defense. The Dogfather's loving that one. Man, the split. Good defense. Lickety split. Hello. Toronto's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Gallagher. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Toronto's gained possession. Look out! Weber's stick handling in his own zone. Sends it quickly to Byron. Byron's got it in the offensive zone and tries to make a diagonal pass to Weber. And he makes the save. Moves it over to Spezza. To his teammate, and he whiffs on it. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Mm. Oh, no, he didn't. Wow. No, he didn't. That was a, 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 a football hit right there. Thunderous. Click, clack. Up along the wing. Moves right to the middle, takes a shot, comes up with the glove save! Solid body contact. Picked up along the wall by Dermott. Great chance in front, right on the doorstep. Shot, oh, no worries. Split the defense. The dog father's loving that one. Man, the split. Good defense. Lickety split. Hello. Stopped by the goaltender. Puck scooped up by Udall. And the middle frame almost done. Sends it in on the attack. The Leafs gain possession along the wall. Gets the puck over to Nylander. Steps into all of that. Quick shot. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Mete's been in some discomfort since he took this hit. A clean hit right through the body. Toronto's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively as they lead big here late in the second. Hammers a shot, makes the save! He is the D-O-double-G, the dog father himself, Snoop Dogg. And we thank him so much for his time here on NHL 20. Third period is coming up in moments. Every playoff game, our team score brings you our item of the game. See more than style share at the ramp with a scarf tonight priced at just $10. Make the third sure period is just moments away. And both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. The Canadiens are going to have to adjust here. They will not be getting that injured player back. He's done for the night. Here we go. Third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? Toronto's focus now is just lock down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. We got a minor penalty coming up here. For sure, on this one. James. I mean, this call was going to be made. You could see the play develop, and now they're going to have to serve two minutes. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. 
Doesn't matter whether you've had one or ten power plays. The fundamentals of it are the same. Win the draw, get the puck to the point, try and spread the penalty killers out. Stop by the goaltender. He was telling me this morning he worked on this in practice this week, making sure the puck... He scores! That's a short-handed marker. James, they took advantage of one little crease, and they were able to race up the ice, get themselves a short-handed marker here. Not much room over on the stick side, but he... Makes a perfect shot, the goalie beaten low there. Toronto's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. And now it's grabbed by Armia. Levels him with the hit. Denied by the goaltender. He just got rattled by that big hit. Slowly he's kind of meandering to the bench. They got to get the door open for him and help him get into the bench to get looked at. Slides it to Gallagher. They've got numbers. It's a two on one. The power play looking anything but as they give up a shorthanded goal with both teams back now at even strength. I certainly didn't like much about that power play. The shorthanded goal, of course, is the exclamation point. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. He's going off for interference. Just a little bit late for the play that he made. The puck was there, now it's gone, and he gets called for interference. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. The power play always feels a little bit nervous when they've given up a shorty in a game as they did earlier. But here's another chance. Go get a power play goal, even it up. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. 17 seconds. Toronto's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities, and they lead it big time early in the third. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Delayed penalty coming up here. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice move by the goal. Wait, wait, no, it's in. It's in the net. It's in the net. Leading goal scorer finishes another one. The Canadians have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scorers out there and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but it's not very pretty right now. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Gets it out of his own end. Taken along the wall by Matthews. Here's a blast, and he comes up with the save. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Works it across to Matthews. And makes the save. The Leafs have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big. Montreal's got a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Gallagher. A little banging and crashing now. All alone! The Canadians' man advantage is over. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip makes his presence known on the ice. Here comes the official's call. Dermott's getting called for tripping. Now uh, you see he hangs his hand and heads towards the penalty box. It's always a frustrating penalty to take. Montreal's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. I wouldn't say they have to go right back to the drawing board but whatever's next to the drawing board, they might want to get there. They've had a little success, but it's not looked very good. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Oh, what a glove save! Good hit on 
the play. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. He got all of that hit. Puck grab by Spezza. And manages to clear the zone. Montreal's got it from behind the net. Takes a whack, but still hangs on. Lowers the boom with that hit. Good hit. The Canadians come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Well, they got through that one. Their penalty killing has just been average tonight. But they'll take that one and put it in the good column. Oh, look who it is again. Man, he's been on the receiving end a half a dozen times or so tonight. He's clearly part of the game plan tonight. I can't even imagine what the Welts got a step. Huge stop by the goaltender. Oh, he read that perfectly. Excellent position to make the stop on the breakaway. Toronto's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Tavares has won the faceoff. Makes the save. Toronto's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. And now he angles it across to Houdon. Referee signals penalty coming up here with a delayed call. And the official stops the play as somebody's off to the sin bin. Is that essentially a pick on that interference? It is a little late to the play and the official's right on it. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. This power play isn't going to go in any coaching manuals. Now, they've scored and had a little bit of success, but it's been ugly for large stretches of their previous ones. Toronto's penalty killers get a hold of it. Barry's lugging the puck. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Toronto's grabbed a hold of the puck. And it doesn't get better than that. Oh, he's going to be shaking his head. Yeah, except all we would say on the bench is it sounded hard when it hit the end board. <laughs> Carries it in. The Canadians fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Pretty hard to have a more low-intensity power play than that. They really didn't generate a thing, and when you don't generate much, you're sure not going to score. Strong use of the body. And that one's turned away. Picks it off. They go back on the attack. And that one's broken up. Moves it to Barry. And he passes it up ahead to Kapanen. Kapanen's got it against the boards. Big time stop. Gets a blocker on it. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Leafs go to work on offense. And that's picked off in front. And now he moves it quickly to Weiss. Now a quick pass to Houdon. Looks to make a play over to Riley. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Grabbed along the boards by Matthews. Blocker save! Again, the denial by the goaltender. The Leafs are in the lead in large measure because of the number of hits that they've had in this period. They've controlled the play. Toronto's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. And they score. The defensive team can't get control of the puck off this faceoff. It ends up into the shooter's hands, and he beats the goaltender. scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forecheck. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. From the point, stops him cold. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. Quick pass to Kulak. And look at this, a three on one. Comes up with a stick save. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. 
Puck lands back onto a stick. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a chance! Big save! Toronto's been so aggressive, they take it away all the time and space from their opponents, and they've stretched their lead. Toronto's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time. Up big time late in this third. Denies him! He got all of it! Domi's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Here comes the call from the official. Sin bin bound for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Keeps it alive. And there's the final horn. And listen to this place. Marner's team gets the win. And a big part of that, his hat trick performance. He's so good when he gets the puck on his stick. He's got a real sense of when to deliver it. And he was lights out tonight. And that's all she wrote on this one for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll see you next time here on EA Sports.